Day and night, the animals are waiting in the stinking trucks. In order to ruminate, they would have to lie down. They try to avoid this, as their sensitive nasal mucous membranes would be irritated even more. Only weak animals lay down. Their condition then worsens. The water troughs are installed inappropriately and not protected against contamination. Also here, the cattle have no fresh water to drink. Overcrowded conditions make things worse for the animals on board, especially in the summer. The inside of the truck heats up. Animals in heat stress are panting on overcrowded trailers parked in the direct sun because there is no shade. At the EU-Turkey border, the animals are exposed to extreme temperatures in violation of the European animal transport regulations. All authorities know about the heat stress. Nothing is done. Not by the EU, not by the exporting member states, and not by the Turkish authorities. Numerous livestock trucks are waiting for clearance, in general for hours, but also days, and sometimes up to a week if transport documents are incomplete. A failure of the exporters, the transporters, and the competent authorities of the member states. For the animals, these waiting times are life-threatening. In the no-man's land of the border, nothing has changed despite our complaints. There is still only one water hose to give water to hundreds of animals which are stationed there at the same time. The parking lot is in the blazing sun. Proper care of the animals is not possible. The protection of the animals stops at the EU border. Sick, dying, injured animals and those giving birth are left to their own fate. Like this one sheep in labor and this pregnant bovine. It does not matter in which livestock truck we check. Animal suffering is everywhere. Some animals die right before our eyes. Often the dead ones remain on the trucks, as otherwise new, updated transport papers would be needed, which would further delay the consignment. We inspect animals entering Turkey at the EU-Turkey border. We trail EU livestock trucks to the final place of destination in Turkey. We stay until the very end. We report on the condition of the animals at each phase. We want to know if the EU animal transport regulations and the Treaty of Lisbon are being complied with. After five years of sending countless complaints and inspection reports to the responsible authorities, the only conclusion to draw is that animals exported to third countries are not protected at all. This trade is a systematic violation of Article 13 of the Treaty of Lisbon. Behind the statistics and legislative promises, there has only been suffering. <laughs>